welcome back now to a surprising study it says that if you're at normal weight but carry a bit of belly fat you are at more risk of dying than other people who may be far fatter let's talk more about this with dr. Zan van Tuchen he joins us from New York thanks very much for being with us now everyone knows that obesity leads to a range of health problems but this report basically says that if you've got a beer gut that's the deadliest type of fat that's exactly right. Unfortunately, if you were sitting there comfortably at a normal weight, thinking that your BMI was okay, which is the normal way we think about whether or not you're obesity, you now no longer have good reason to, to relax. So um, for women, uh, an abdominal circumference measurement, so basically a waist measurement of more than 88 centimeters or 34 inches, um, puts you at an, uh, puts you at a significantly higher ri risk of cardiovascular disease and for men it's 102 centimeters or 40 inches so what the study actually found was even if you're thin but with a, with a larger waist that puts you at more than twice the risk of someone who's fat without a larger waist so twice the risk I think I read for men and about 30 percent more for women yeah. uh, now just obviously there are good and good and bad types of cholesterol it's also true about fat. There is some fat that has some benefits. That's right. So if you think about people in terms of being apple-shaped or pear-shaped, most of us can kind of look around us and go, yep, there are people with big bums and people with big tummies. And the people with big bums, that fat does seem to protect them. It's all right to have a big bum. Uh, but if you've got the kind of classic apple-shaped belly, that kind of nice, smooth, round, tight tummy that you see on lots of men, and we think of it as a beer gut, um, what that's telling you is that there is fat not only around your tummy but also packed around your organs and that fat seems to be different and the thing that that fat does is raise your cholesterol raise your blood pressure and alter your risk of heart disease it also makes you more likely to have diabetes so it, it that 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 fat is not just sitting there like a kind of gas tank it's not just a, a storage storage fuels place for the body it's actually an active organ that's doing bad things to you and this was a very comprehensive study over about 14 years. Do you think most people will be surprised by those findings? It, it's a very impressive study indeed. There are about 15,000 people in the study, as you say. They followed them up for a long time. And um, it, it's really, I, I don't know about surprised. I mean, we've known for a long time that waist circumference and waist hip ratios are important. But I think this is the first study which has really told us that even if you are at a normal BMI and you're, you're not considered obese when you get on the scales, when you measure your waist circumference, that does tell you a lot about your risk of heart disease. And this is something you can do at home. You know, you can put a tape measure around your waist or put a piece of string around your waist means you're less likely to kind of cheat or fiddle the numbers. Put a piece of string around your waist roughly around where your belly button is um, string it out measure it and I would see your doctor if you fall into the into those uh, those higher numbers and just a quick last question advice to people who want to shed that belly fat get rid of that beer gut Unfortunately, there is really only one significant way of doing this, and that is to eat less. Different diets work for different people, but we know that exercise is not a great way of losing weight on its own. And in fact, exercise is quite a good appetite stimulant. Exercise does all kinds of good things for us, but if you want to shrink your waist, you've got to eat differently and eat less. My rules would be eat less processed food, or frankly, avoid all processed food because it makes you want to eat more of it. Eat lots of fresh fruit and vegetables, lots of protein, and relatively small amounts of carbohydrate. Some great advice there. Dr. Zan Van Token in New York, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you.